How cool it is that you and I decided to sail on this cool ship and see new islands and new countries. It's all so cool and unusual. You and I have never sailed on ships, and yet we decided to do it. There is such beautiful water here and such clean air, and the views are simply incredible. I love travel like this very much. I completely agree with you! Everything here is so beautiful and coolly done that I couldn't even imagine that you and I would end up on such a cool vacation. Yes, you and I have been swimming for so long that we have seen a lot in this sea, but you know, we just swam and saw some island with strange walls. I have a good idea. We have small boats. I need to fill it with gasoline now so that I have enough to go there and, in principle, on this boat we will sail to that island and see what kind of island it is. Is it possible to get there and who even lives there? Great! I have already completely filled the boat with gasoline and now I can board it and sail to this island to find out what is there. Wow! It must be so cool to ride on such a boat! Because I've never done this before! But now we'll see! Wow! How cool it is to ride on this boat! It is so fast! And the wind blows so cool in your face that it's even hot under such a scorching sun! At this rate, I will very quickly swim to that island and be able to find out what is there! I see that this island is surrounded on all sides by giant walls and there in front I see some iron doors! Great! I've already swam to him! Now I'll go inside to find out what's there! I wonder if someone has come to our village and would like to come in. Okay, now I'll go out and I'll find out who's there. Hello, wanderers. What do you want to know and how did you find out that this village is here? Hello, the head of this village. We just sailed on our cool ship and saw in the distance an island surrounded on all sides by large walls. And we became very interested in who lives here and how this island is located here inside. So we decided to swim and find out. This is very cool because very rarely do any wanderers come to us to see our village. Because our village is very cool. There are a lot of interesting and mysterious things here. I'm so glad to see guests in our village. I'll show you our whole village. I'll tell you all our customs and everything I know. Now come to my house and I would like to sit with you at the table to eat something. And at the same time, I would tell you everything in detail about our village. We are very glad that you are so hospitable and ready to tell us everything about your village. And you know, you have such a cool little animal. He runs so cool and can also fly. I've never seen anything like this before. Well then, you and I looked at the village a little, and now we went to the house of the head of the village for dinner, which he offered us. I'm so impatient to find out why these walls are needed and everything about this village. I really want him to tell me all this, so let's quickly run to him for dinner. Well, I really want to eat because I haven't eaten anything for a long time since we left the ship. Hello, head of the village. We came to your house, as you asked us, for dinner to find out everything in your village. I'm so glad to see you. I thought that you would not come but would go on your boats back to your ship. But you still came to my place for dinner. Great then, now I'll prepare everything. And you quickly go to the table. Sit down now. We will eat very tasty food. And I will tell you everything you want and answer all your questions. Hey, Mikey! It seems you mixed up the tables and sat down at the wrong table. Come to us and sit next to us at this table so that you can hear everything that the head of the village will say. So guys, now I'll tell you everything about our village. Firstly, you wanted to know why our village is surrounded by such large walls. Firstly, these walls serve as protection from the tsunami because all the villages that were near us were flooded because they did not build these walls. And we live through the whole tsunami calmly and can sit and live. Secondly, we are constantly terrorized by one giant fish that crashes into our walls and breaks them. But we then rebuild them again. And if we didn't have these walls, then she would have been able to break our island, and you would all have died here. Really? But I'm wondering why you need such giant walls. They really protect against tsunamis, because your village is located in the middle of the ocean, and you never know from which side danger will come. But the fact that you are being terrorized by a giant fish is very bad. Could you show where it is? Maybe Mikey and I could help you somehow? 
Maybe we could kill this fish, and then your village could exist peacefully? Yes, sure. Follow me. We have one observation tower here, and we can observe from above which direction the fish or tsunami is coming from. You can see everything very clearly from there. Wow! How cool is that? Of course let's go to your observation tower. I already want to climb up there to the very top as quickly as possible and look at such beautiful views from there. But you know why this is somehow scary to me? Because I'm afraid of very giant fish. But if we can help somehow defeat it, then I will forget about my fear. This is a really cool village. I couldn't even think that while sailing in the middle of the ocean on a cool ship, we could suddenly accidentally find such a cool, interesting village. Look, you are just lucky to see this giant fish. She sailed here again. Now she will again crash into our walls and break them so that she can then get to the residence and eat them all. This terrible giant fish has been preventing our entire village and all residents from living in peace for many years. We don't know what to do here. All we can do is repair the walls that she breaks. Oh my god! This is just complete horror! This monster has broken your wall again! I heard this terrible and big bang against the wall! Village head, what should we do? Let's quickly go down and start filling up this hole so that it doesn't get bigger! Or this monster couldn't make an even bigger hole and get here! We have very little time! I completely agree with you. You need to go down faster, but be careful. Because now the wall is a little destroyed and something might fall somewhere. So take your time and go downstairs calmly. And then we'll see the place where the monster hit and broke this wall. We need to be careful because he can swim and attack us again. Therefore, be vigilant and watch in all directions at all times. We need to quickly go down the wall and see where the hole is now. And we need to close it up as quickly as possible so that the monster doesn't get to us. Head of the village, I feel so sorry for you that you have to endure the blows of this monster. I am sure that my friend and I will somehow be able to cope with this monster so that it no longer interferes with your village and you can live in peace. After all, the walls can withstand a tsunami, but this monster can't. Oh God, what a big hole this monster made in your wall. It's just awful. We need to do something about this urgently. Otherwise, the next tsunami will fall into this hole and flood the entire village and everyone here will completely and definitely die. And I don't want this for your village, so we have to come up with some kind of plan on how to destroy this terrible monster. Mikey, I have a great plan. Now we will get on our small boats and go after that monster. We will find where he lives. Maybe he lives in some cave and there we will kill him. After all, we have cool weapons here that we can shoot very well. And when we get away from this monster, we will seal the wall, and then all the residents of this village will be able to live in peace and not worry about their lives. This is just a great plan! And then we will definitely be able to destroy it, and the residents of this village will be able to live always in safety and absolutely not worry about anything. What cool boats we have! We can get there very quickly with them! I saw that the monster was swimming towards that cave which is located in the desert. Perhaps he lives there and there we can destroy him. These boats are sailing so fast that no one can catch them. And you and I also have a very cool weapon. It shoots very coolly with dangerous bullets that very much penetrate any armor and they can kill this monster too. I so want to help the head of the village so that its residents can live in peace and not have to worry about their lives. That we simply must destroy this monster so that he never terrorizes this village again. And then we will celebrate it all and have fun and everything will be good and cool. As usual, I'm sure that you and I can handle it because you and I are a mega cool team. After all, you and I are best friends, and we always understand each other perfectly and always support each other. We've been in different situations and always dealt with them and killed the bad people. And today, we will kill this terrible monster and that village will live in peace. And of course, you will also need to remember to help make that wall, because there may be a tsunami soon. What are you saying, Mikey? Have you found the lair of this terrible monster? You need to quickly run up there. I see it floating in this cave. We need to shoot him with all the weapons we have. Get a terrible monster. 
You won't be able to terrorize the people of this village anymore. Well, we killed him. What a cool victory. It was so cool and incredible. Wait, there are more monsters here. These are probably his brothers and sisters. You need to kill it too. After all, they will then sail to that village and will destroy it too. Get terrible monsters. You will all die for trying to destroy our friend's village. Great! We were able to kill these terrible monsters. And now I am sure that the village will be safe and no more monsters will be able to break down the walls there. Now we need to sail as quickly as possible on our boats to the village to our friend the head of the village and tell him that we have eliminated these monsters and he can live in peace and not worry about another monster coming. We have very little time. I totally agree with you, but we need to hurry very much. After all, we have not yet managed to repair the hole in the wall and a tsunami could start very soon. So time goes by in seconds. So we sail to the village. Hello, village head. We want to tell you great news. We killed this terrible monster and all his brothers and sisters. And now he will never come to your village to break down your walls. And you can always live in peace. Thank you very much for saving our village from the attack of these terrible monsters. We lived for many years in fear that this monster would break our wall again. And now I propose to organize a holiday in honor of our friends who saved our village from the attack of this terrible monster. Today we will have fun all day and eat a lot of delicious things. And now you can always come and visit us. We will always be glad to see you. We are always happy to help you. Especially since you are such a cool head of the village. Today was a really interesting adventure and we are very glad that we saved your village from that terrible monster. And now we can relax and have fun all day long. We are very glad that we met you and came to this village. 